This actually is pretty slick and uh, dangy. Good morning. What day is today? 158. So we just got back on trail after a really, really lovely zero. Honestly, it was, it was a great zero. Yeah, we're feeling good. Uh, a little heavy because we have eight days of resupply. Next uh, stretch is going to be kind of tricky. Um, but it's our last week of tough terrain. It so. should be our last stretch of really rugged terrain. Yeah, we're going to be getting off after the Bigelows. We heard that's where the really rough stuff ends. So nice. really hoping on that. If you want to see Cole's call slip into the water. <laughs> yeah, do, do not. Let it, let's start this, uh, this off right and not slip into the water right now because it literally started raining the second we pulled into the trailhead it started raining so great timing there yeah the earth needs rain but um so yeah we are probably gonna do like 10 miles today and uh yeah we're gonna see how the terrain is looks like there's a junction here going to table rock we will not be going that way but uh, yeah, so hopefully we don't slip in the mud or get sucked into a bog, which is very likely. Let's make this a good, a good day. Hiking down West Baldpate, hiking towards East Baldpate. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Kind of a rough start getting back on trail today, just uh, with the rain, and we are back to, uh, I think, honestly, I think this is the heaviest our packs have ever been because we are currently trying to go 100 miles in eight days. Now, 100 miles in between resupplies wasn't really that big of a deal up until New Hampshire. And that's when everything kind of went topsy-turvy on us. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be out here for a minute this time, it seems like at least. I think this was one of the first times getting back on trail where I really kinda would have rather stayed at home. We just got pretty much our asses handed to us after that last section of trail we did, starting with the Wildcat Ridge Trail in the rain the Carters, Mariah, and then just getting into Western Maine and, uh, you know, it got super boggy, but, um, whew, I know it's the first day, first day coming back, um, off, off of zero. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit tough, but yeah, it was, it was tough getting out of the car and getting getting back on trail again, you know. Getting down in between, in between these two mountains right here. But uh, it's, it's all just slick, wet rock. It really rained at the perfect time, right as we got back on trail. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to complain, I really don't, but ugh, we're really, we're so ready for, uh, for this all to be over. 
we love it out here, but boy, are we burnt out. And you, you can kind of tell from, from everyone else around you too, tensions are kind of running high, it seems. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of tough. We just got to get through this first day because it's just, it's really nerve wracking, you know, being out here and, you know, just with a really heavy pack and slippery rock all around. So we're really, we're really trying to end this the right way, <laughs> you know. I had to run ahead because I was, I was getting really frustrated with, with, with things. So uh, I'm gonna wait for them here in between these two beautiful mountains. So how can you be, how can you be mad looking at that? Looking at, at that beautiful, beautiful stone face. So, hey, at least we're not socked in. I'm, I'm surprised. I guess these mountains aren't high enough to be socked in. So, whew, all right. Good rap sesh. So I realized this from just sitting here and watching people, but this, this is the trail. It goes up this rock face right there and then continues up and over. But yep, this is it. Not through the trees, not through the safety, through the rocks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks, I don't, you can't really tell how steep it is since we're facing it, but um, just from watching people go up it, it looks pretty steep. And there's some people up there right now and they just look like ants. Yeah, so sure picked a good day to rain. <laughs> Fern patched my leg up. Yeah. <laughs> I had to dive into the bushes for an emergency and I got cut by a stick. Can't deal with blood on my gypsy. I just had to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my Fern. Yes. She made me feel very nice. Good. <laughs> and she gave me chips. Yeah. And we're waiting on close to call. Too far. Yeah. So this is a uh, kind of nice. It uh it stopped raining, so we can um, just yeah. hang out for a bit, and uh, we packed out some chippies. A whole bag. Mm-hmm. That's the way to do it now. I was craving them last time. After we um Charlie gave us his potato chips, mm -hmm. and we just loved it. Pro tip: when you're on a stretch of trail. Write down the cravings you're having so you remember next time you're at the grocery. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta this, keep note. This is what came out of it. Yes. Some cheddar and sour cream chips. So good. Mm -mm. And so lightweight. So I believe we are on that rock face right now that we were looking up at. Yeah, and it's not really as bad as it looked. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's steep towards pretty the manageable. Up there looks uh, definitely steeper. I am uh, pleasantly surprised that this rock is uh, actually not too bad. It's uh, pretty porous, so it's you, you get some good grip on it. So, not too bad. Let's see how it's like up there. Okay, scratch that, I think this is that. <laughs> rock face. And it's a little slippery. It is a little bit yeah, slippery, so. The, the green. Yeah, this green uh, lichen moss stuff kind of making it slippery. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat my words on that one. This actually is pretty slick and uh, dangy. So. Oh yeah, I'm so glad we're not going down this. Oh my goodness. I um, don't know what the other side looks like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is that for sure. Ooh, <laughs> say hi. This is very slippery. Okay, I'm gonna put this away then. <laughs> There's close call. Look at him. Whoop whoop. Hey. 
<laughs> there he is. Uh, <laughs> he's taking a picture. <laughs> ah, that's funny. It's pretty slippery. Okay, thanks. Just, just follow the cracks. Okay. Yeah. It's not too bad in the crack. There's some handholds too. Yeah. All right, we're on top of East Baldpate. And this is an absolutely gorgeous mountain. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. With an absolute unit of a cairn marking its, well, that's not even the summit. Is it not? No, there's, the ground behind it is clearly bigger. Or taller, higher, I don't know. The, but that's further up, it seems. I don't know. Either way, unit. Look at that view, guys. Wow, it like kind of cleared up. Still kind of overcast, but it is uh, not raining. The cloud ceiling is well above us right now. So that's nice. The rocks even seem feel like they're kind of drying out a little bit. Maybe, but I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, that's a nice picture right there, Fern. Here, let me get that of you. Oh, beautiful. We're here on Little Bald Pate. It's just a mere ledge, basically. Uh, but a uh, good little scramble to get up. You can see the foliage is really starting to change over here. And over here too, there's little, little, little bits of red and yellow. It's really starting to look like autumn up in here. But we just got a little bit more climbing to do today. I'm gonna descend down this and then a little uptick and then it's all down from there. And there's some nice cascades uh, that possibly have some camping near it. And uh, we're gonna find a good, good spot. Cause I'm ready to eat this big bag of beans I brought with me. <laughs> this thing is an anchor. Yeah, you can really tell down there the foliage changing. It's just starting to get red and looking beautiful. There's also these weird, like, it looks like an old ski run or something on this, this mountain right here. There are these, like, cutout patches or something. But it looks like they're growing back in, so I'm not sure what exactly those are. Like uh, some type of pasture, yeah. Up to it. And there's a road going kind of up to it, yeah. So I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But man, in another two weeks, it, this is going to be uh, really, really nice for foliage, I bet. We'll get that, we'll get that a little bit more north. But uh, yeah, for now, this stuff is just starting to turn. I am currently hoofing it the last three or so miles to our stealth spot because there's a few people behind us, including a group of three who we just can't seem to shake. They might be headed that way as well. So Fern sent me on ahead to scout out a good spot for us, claim some real estate, I think. I'm just getting to the top of this pud here, and uh, I think it's all downhill from here, so we're gonna get a nice spot, hopefully next to the waterfall, we'll see. And uh, we'll see you guys over at camp.
trail got real nice for us. This is just amazing. Dirt and no steep rock scrambles, no ladders. This is great. It's like we're back to Vermont. Hey, hey. guys. Welcome to the tent <laughs> of Fern and Gypsy. Good night from day one of eight. Yes, um, good night. Of our outing and yeah. The first very painful day. It was, uh, the mountain climb was really gradual. The bald pates were so stunning. They were beautiful. Just amazing <clears throat> fall foliage. Um, trail was a little crowded again, so that was yeah. a little disappointing. Um, we're in this big bubble right now and we've been trying to shake a few people that have been just hiking around us and yeah. it's just like endless leapfrogging yeah where they pass us and then they take a break and they stop and, and then they we just pass keep them stopping. yeah it's it's kind of aggravating and it's just yeah and, so um, yeah. just trying to put that aside but um it is yeah just really aggravating to kind of deal with and and we do want to give you guys just our honest experience out here and this is what's happening i mean trail is yeah. so crowded yeah it's i don't know i don't know what we walked into but we, we were hoping that we we would um be um away from some of these people when we took our zero but obviously that's when everyone else takes a everyone zero zeroed and everyone got dropped off at 10 a.m at the same time as us and it was just like really it, it frustrating it was very frustrating yeah. right from the get-go it's just hard to kind of find your peace out here these days but Gypsy found this beautiful camp spot off a of blue blaze of a waterfall and it's just stunning and I'm, I'm really grateful for him kind of running ahead and, and finding this spot for yeah, us. Yeah, so, I had to run you. ahead. Yeah. And yeah, we are just gonna eat lots of food, gonna eat the bag of salad I packed up. Close eat calls not salad, far behind. Some beans. He's gonna eat his beans and- Lots of cheese. We're gonna sleep it off and start Bright and early at 5 a.m. Oh, in the morning. Oh, it's not going to be bright, but it'll be early. Yeah. My soul will be bright. Yeah, we're trying to um, just bypass a bunch of people that we think are camping just ahead. So uh, yeah. we're going to try to just really fly ahead. Just and, hopefully um, get into our own like quiet bubble tomorrow yes. so we don't have to keep leapfrogging with all of these people. Uh, so we're just gonna do our best, but that's kind of the reality of being out here is that you're you're never alone and it really is hard to just kind of find your solitude. And yeah, um, yeah just kind of longing for that um, in Maine and, and most days it's just feeling kind of that anxiety of just people coming up on you and just constantly having to let people pass you and and that's okay tomorrow's a new day but it, yeah just yeah. kind of an honest um thing we're experiencing for sure yeah speaking of tomorrow um it's gonna be wet and it's gonna be raining all day yes. so we're going to I, I don't think the rain's gonna start until like seven or eight o'clock so we'll be well out of here before then but um yeah it's yeah. gonna it's gonna be a wet one so um we'll be okay hopefully i mean i'm it was raining when we were doing all that steep um bald pate climbing yeah so but um I'm, I'm really hoping that we won't have any more um stone carpets like, uh, yeah. you know. The bald pates were extremely exposed. I think the climb tomorrow is a little bit more tame. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the map and kind of figure out um, yeah. what might be difficult in the rain. But yeah, very slippery, um, very wet conditions today. So we're mm. just gonna put our best foot forwards tomorrow yep. and, and uh, start again. Just walk it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll uh, let you go. We'll see you uh, dark and early. Dark and early. <laughs>
Kaylee. First thing in the morning. Good night. <laughs> night.